Jane Fonda is making her case to Hollywood to join her in DC in the fight for climate change. The actress and activist spoke to The Hollywood Reporter on her way to the nation's capital for a fifth straight week of climate protests and arrests, relaying the importance of her fight and even opening up about how her actions last week resulted in the actress spending 20 hours behind bars. Fonda explained that her fourth arrest was the first that resulted in a night in jail, explaining that after her third arrest, they gave her a court date, but since the actress was arrested again before that court date, they resorted to having her spend the night in jail. Fonda also explained that jail conditions were not great, saying, you have to sleep on a metal slab, and I'm almost 82 years old and I hurt, and adding, in my cell, it was just me and the cockroaches. She went on to say, the most disturbing part of it was seeing the people in jail and realizing that this country doesn't choose to put enough resources into social safety nets and mental health services because so many of the people are there because of poverty and racism and mental health issues. Inspired by similar actions by teen activists, Fonda relocated to DC in December to begin climate protests with her campaign, dubbed Fire Drill Fridays. The Grace and Frankie star has since been arrested alongside famous friends like Sam Waterston, Ted Danson, Katherine Keener, and Rosanna Arquette. She further explains, what we're protesting now is a ticking existential time bomb that encircles everything. Everyone's life, the economy, health, the military, national security, everything. We're facing a real catastrophe. The science tells us we have 11 years to make systemic changes in order to prevent it from becoming uncontrollable. For more on the story, head to THR.com. And until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.